Hello, how are you? Welcome to the iLab channel. My name is Juliana Thomas. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. Before I start the video, please hit the like, leave your comments at the end of the video, and share the video with your friends, with your family. Our today's content is a continuation of the last video. If you didn't watch the last video, I'll add the card up here for you. Go there and watch the video, and then you come back and continue with this video. Let's get started. Do you want to get high performance in your life? Stay tuned. On our last video, I promised you that I would bring some solutions and some tips for self-responsibility. First of all, I want to introduce to you this book, but it's only written in Portuguese, that is called The Power of Self-Responsibility. Uh, this book was written by my teacher, my coaching teacher, and this is the most important book for the coaching process. Actually, it's the first book used on the coaching sessions. It's the first one. I used to call it the Little Red Cover Book. This is a very, very important book. But fortunately, Paulo Vieira, the guy who wrote the book, Paulo Vieira, he wrote The Power of Action. That is in Portuguese, it's called, in Portuguese, it's called O Poder da Ação. In English, The Power of Action. This book is almost inserted in the second chapter of the Power of Action. So you can buy it. And I'll bring for you the six laws of self-responsibility. I'll go translate it for you. The first one, be quiet instead of criticize. What do you mean by that? If you are talking to someone and you see you don't have anything to add in your discussion, it's better to be quiet. Just observe and think. Don't criticize. Second one, give a suggestion instead of complaining. What do you mean with that? If you are in the first one, be quiet instead of criticize, but if you have a suggestion, you can give a suggestion and do not complain. The third law of self-responsibility, search for a solution instead of search for a guilty one. Let's bring to our actual crisis right now, instead of complaining only on what is going on, try to do something to change it. Try to create something. Try to innovate, try to do something that you haven't done before and stop just bringing the guilty. I'll add the fourth one to the last one because for me is the most important one. So the fourth, learn with your mistakes and do not try to justify yourself. What do you mean? If you make a mistake, like an athlete, this, this guy, this athlete didn't win the match or even the game. Instead of complaining that he made a mistake, he will take the best from this match and he will do better on the next one. Because nothing will happen if he stays complaining, oh, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, oh my goodness. So you can avoid making a mistake again, instead of justify. Because if you justify, you are becoming a victim. Justifying, and you won't get better. You won't do better, because you just justify. I did that because of this, because of that. And nothing will change in your life. Number five, judge the attitude, but not the person. So, if you're observing a scene, don't bring it to personal and see what is going on. 
and take the better that you can from the situation instead of focusing on this person. This person probably has a lot of beliefs, the identity beliefs, deserving beliefs, capacity beliefs, and you cannot change it. So if you don't want to lose energy, do this. Number six, number six is the most important to me. Stop being the victim and turn yourself into the winner. You can do a, an exercise if you want. I'll leave up here, I'll have one of the videos. Paulo Vieira created an exercise to activate testosterone and you can practice to help you to become a winner. As Amy Cuddy says, the American social psychologist teaches the, the power pose. What's the power pose? I have also, yeah, I have also a video about it, an old video. And that consists in staying to, for two minutes. Standing, of course, if you can, otherwise you can be sitting, you can remain seated. You remain with your fists by the hips for two minutes. And then you just put your chin up as you do this movement, you achieve the testosterone in your whole body and then you become a winner for two minutes. And you can do the same if you do like this for two minutes, you become a victim for two minutes. So this is your choice. You can be a victim. Oh, I'm a poor person. Oh. Or you can become the winner and you can have winner attitudes. This is your choice. So search for the Power of Action book. There is a target on the cover. Mine, my book's not here right now. I don't know where, where it is. But search for this book. It, it is an orange cover. You can find on the internet. And... And I wish you a very nice reading. And I'll give you an exercise for the end of the video. Please write down all the, all the errors in your life, your professional, your financial, or even personal life, that you think you don't have this self-responsibility. Or even if you have this self-responsibility, write it down and leave on the comments if you wish. I wish you all the best. I'll see you on our next video. Bye. Thank you.